Now, in geometry, as we know in R2 and in R3, we have uh, one of the identities uh, or definitions of the dot product, which states that um, that u dot v is in fact the norm of u, the norm of v, v into cosine of theta. And for instance, in 2D, it means say this is u and this is v. This is the angle between um, u and v for the sake of argument. So um, the dot product um, is this relationship, in fact. And the issue is that this is great for R2 and R3, where one can calculate an angle, or we're familiar with the concept of an angle, or, or theta. But it becomes a bit more challenging when we try, uh, if we try to go beyond uh, uh, R3. So we're going to try to do that. If, if you think about this relationship, you can rewrite this in a slightly different way, which is instead of looking at this as the definition of u dot v, which we are familiar with in R2 and R3, why don't we look at this as the definition of the angle, in fact, which I'm sure you would agree is a little bit of very simple algebra. And we can rewrite uh, this as follows. So here, as you will notice, that instead of thinking of this as the definition of u dot v, we now are looking at this as some theta, an angle theta, a notion of an angle theta even, okay? And now what we're trying to see is what could possibly happen in Rn? Because if you think about this, the cosine operator uh, doesn't have a problem, or the, uh, the cosine operation or the cosine function has no problem with what's inside what's what's in the brackets here because it's a number the only restriction we have uh, the only thing we have to be careful about is that we know that cosine of theta lies between minus 1 and 1 so we need to simply be careful that um, this be taken care of right which essentially means which essentially means that as long as we can ha we can guarantee that u dot v, okay, that u dot v is in fact uh, uh, u dot v divided by norm of u times the norm of v. Okay, that's what replaces cosine theta. Think about it. Just look at it from this equation here. Okay, it's obvious. So that's what it boils down to. As long as this condition holds, okay, we can guarantee that theta can be calculable uh, can be calculated and therefore we can extend this notion of theta to rn now we have to think what condition would help us in this uh, to to maintain this or guarantee this requirement this is this is where uh, steps in the cauchy shorts inequality so the cauchy shorts inequality states that the for any u, um, any u and v uh, that belong to Rn, uh, that the dot product of u and v absolute value is less than or equal to the norm of u times the norm of v. So that's the statement of the Cauchy shorts. Look at that now. Um, so we state the Cauchy shorts inequality here without proof. We will prove it a little later on. Uh, when we come to um, uh, general vector spaces. But for now, let us assume this uh, inequality holds. As long as this inequality, ho we, we, uh, we accept this inequality, clearly we can, um, if we were to divide uh, both sides of, the, um, of this inequality by the right-hand side, we, would end, we can rewrite the inequality as very simply, this is very straightforward algebra. This would be then less than or equal to 1. Now, clearly, we know that this is an absolute value. So therefore, this implies that u dot v, in fact, divided by the norm of u, the norm of v is greater than or equal to minus 1, less than or equal to 1. So we're guaranteed that the this uh, requirement holds now based on the cauchy shorts inequality, which is a law, is an accepted law. So therefore, an accepted theorem, in fact. So therefore, based on this idea, we are guaranteed that um, this uh, inequality holds, which implies that it is possible now to actually calculate theta 
um, in Rn. Uh, and that is really a great, uh, an amazing and very interesting result that we get uh, because of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality. Right, so what we're going to do next is prove some very interesting uh, inequalities. I love uh, going through these. These are very interesting, very easy, very simple uh, ones to prove. So we're going to look at four different, um, uh, you know, laws and uh, equalities and inequalities that apply, that basically follow. Uh, and I'm going to write down here for you the rules that we're going to be using. One is going to be, of course, the cauchy shorts inequality that's right here. We're going to be using this. We're also going to use the fact that u dot u is the norm of u squared. So we're going to be using this idea um, as well. Now, so let's start. The first of these is uh, this one. This is known as the triangle inequality. In all the uh, things we're going to look at uh, now, we are assuming that u, v belong to Rn. Okay, so it's an n-dimensional vector space and... Uh, uh, let's uh, do this triangle inequality first. So u plus uh, v, the norm of the sum of u plus v is less than or equal to the individual norms of u and v. This is known as the triangle, triangle inequality. Okay. Now, Proof of it is very, very simple, Tri triangle inequality for vectors. Okay, the proof is very straightforward. We start with the fact that um, u plus v, the norm, squared, clearly, as you can see over here. So we're going to use this idea. u dot u is norm of u squared. So that means u plus v norm squared would be uh, u plus v dot product with itself, so u plus v. As we expand this, we end up with u dot u using the the rules and laws we looked at earlier. And we get two of these u dot v's and plus, of course, v dot v. Um, going further, uh, we can easily simplify this to norm of u squared plus 2 u dot v plus norm of v squared. Now, let's have a look. So what we're looking at is, um, what we're looking at right now is the fact that if I, uh, if I want to, um, uh, let me just, one second, pull back the Cauchy shorts. I'll actually try to keep the Cauchy shorts there so you can have a look at it. There's the Cauchy shorts. Now, if I want to use the Cauchy shorts here, I need u dot v to this part here to have an absolute value. Now this is u dot v, which can be negative. So if I'm going to replace u dot v with something like this, uh, so so I'm gonna, not going to put the sign here for a second. I'm going to let you think about that for just a minute. Okay, so if I replace it this way, so if I replace u dot v by absolute u dot v, then clearly what I have is something either bigger or equal to the above line, okay? Because u dot v can be negative potentially, all right? In when it's positive, both of these would be the same. But when it's negative, uh, the dot product, then this will be larger. So at the minimum, it's going to be equal, but otherwise it will be larger. So there, uh, so this hopefully makes sense. Now I can use, in fact, the Cauchy shorts. Just to remind you, this is the Cauchy shorts here. And what I'm going to replace is something bigger uh, than this. Uh, so essentially, uh, it means that it's going to be something even bigger that I'm going to replace here. So it's going to be 2 into norm u, norm v, plus norm v squared. And I'm going to say here by the cauchy shorts inequality, OK? Right, so we get this uh, by the cauchy shorts inequality. Now, this, you should notice, is the same as the u plus norm v all squared. So essentially what we're saying is, um, if we were to just 
quickly summarize this where it's saying that um, u plus v norm squared is less than or equal to u norm plus v norm squared. By simply taking the square root of both sides, pops out the, the inequality we want to prove, which is the triangle inequality, and we're done. QED. All right, so that's the end of that proof. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's move on. Right, the next inequality we want to prove is this one here. It is the distance between u and v, and it's valid in Rn. Here, just as a reminder, this is the definition of duv. For any two vectors in Rn, duv is the norm of the difference between u and v, in fact. So, uh, to prove this uh, inequality, um, we start with, of course, the fact that um, duv, if we go from the left hand side, which is duv, which is norm of u minus, I'm sorry, uh, norm of u minus v, okay, we can play a little bit with this and write it as the norm of u um, uh, minus w, okay, plus w minus v. So, uh, minus, you, can, you will notice here that this is minus w plus w, which is zero. So, it's still the same thing, but just a little bit of trickery here, and we get this. Now, the reason we do that is if we group these two together, okay, we can, we can very easily exploit the triangle inequality, okay? Triangle inequality. And the triangle inequality, uh, assuming, of course, let me rewrite the triangle inequality on the side here for you. This is what the triangle inequality, we just proved that uh, just a little earlier, just a few seconds ago, a few minutes ago, u plus norm v. So that's what the triangle inequality states. Now, if you think of this, uh, this here, uh, if you think of this here, as u in the triangle inequality and this here as v in the triangle inequality, then you will realize that this is in fact less than or equal to, okay, it's u minus w uh, plus w minus v, okay? And clearly, clearly, that is just by definition uw plus d w v, which is what we wanted to prove. So therefore, we've proved the second one as well. It's quite simple and straightforward proof um, of this one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one we want to prove is, in fact, um, again, u and v, assuming u and v are in Rn. Throughout, we're assuming that. So the next inequality, or equality this time, is the norm of u plus v squared plus the norm of u minus v squared is equal to twice uh, norm u uh, squared plus norm v uh, squared, okay? So we want to prove this. Again, the proof starts from the left-hand side. Um, we'll start with the fact that the left-hand side, u plus v norm squared plus u minus v norm squared is simply um, <clears throat> u plus v dot u plus v plus u minus v, okay, dot u minus v, okay? Simple as that. Uh, pretty straightforward. Now, expand, so we get um, u dot u. All right, plus uh, 2u dot v plus v dot v. And plus we'll have here, similar, u dot u minus, on the other hand, in this case, u dot v plus v dot v. All right, I think it's very simple now. It follows quite quickly that um, here, we'll have norm of u squared. This here and this here will cancel. So we'll get 
2 norm u squared plus 2 norm v squared, which is twice into norm of u squared plus norm of v squared, and also proved QED. Alrighty, one more. And the last one we want to look at is this one. Uh, this says, again, if u and v are in Rn, and with the Euclidean inner product, valid unit Euclidean inner product applying, we this is equal to a quarter, and u plus v norm squared minus a quarter u minus v norm squared. We want to prove this one. Um, the best way to prove this one is to start with the fact, we'll start with pieces of the right-hand side, rather than the left-hand side in this case. And we know that this is equal to, in fact, u plus v dot u plus v. So we know that. And u minus v, on the other hand, is u plus v, or sorry, pardon me, one second here. Uh, u minus v dot with u minus v. Okay, so what happens? Let's have a look. This becomes norm of u squared. I've done this enough times now, I think you can see clearly. Plus uh, 2u dot v plus norm of v squared. And this is equal to norm of u squared again. On the other hand, you'll get here minus 2. Um, u dot v plus norm of v squared. So what we'll do is the following. Uh, let's just get some space there. Now, if since you see the definitions here, now all I have to do is to say, well, okay, a quarter, okay, into u plus v all squared is going to give me what? Well, it's going to give me a quarter into... Uh, norm of u squared plus a half u dot v and plus a quarter norm of v squared. And then I have a quarter u plus or u minus, sorry, pardon me one sec. Okay, u minus v norm squared is equal to a quarter u squared uh, minus a half u dot v plus a quarter v squared. Now, here's the uh, part. What we're going to do is we want to subtract these. So if I were to take, subtract these two, let's see what this gives us. Okay, let's have a look. We would have uh, that, in fact, these two pieces, sorry, let me change the color there, these two pieces cancel, this here and this here cancels, okay, and what we're left with is a quarter, a quarter into u plus v norm squared minus a quarter into u minus v squared is equal to u dot v, because a half plus a half is and there you have it, you've proven the third one, okay? And that's it.